Hello everyone, I would like to give you a micro tutorial on how to generate uniform random points within a circle. So let's start. The problem statement is as follows. We are given only a random number generator which generates random points between 0 and 1 and we will be donating it by the rand n within the context of this tutorial. And we are asked to generate uniformly random points within a given circle with specified radius of r first idea that comes to our mind is to generate two random numbers one of them is for the theta the angle angular position of the point and that will be between 0 and 2 pi so that the point can be at any location within the circle and another is for the random distance between the origin and the point the small r and that will be basically a function of capital R and the random number generator if you were to put this into a function Python function that it will look like this one so it will take a, a radius of uh, the radius as an input argument and the x center and y center as an and other uh, input arguments. Then we will calculate the small r and theta using the random number generator like this. And then we will be returning the x coordinate and the y coordinate as shown in this equations. We will return them as a tuple. If we apply this one and get our results, this is this will be the distribution. As you can see, this is denser around the origin and not uniformly distributed, which is not expected. So we, we were expecting for a uniform distribution. So why didn't we get uniform distribution? The reason is as follows. As the distance from the origin increases, the area covered by the circular segments increases as well. So basically for, for, uh, for the radius of D, if the area covered by this ring is A, for the once we reach the distance of 2D, the area covered by the circular ring is 3A, and when it is 3D, the circular ring area is 5A, and this keeps going on like that. So if we were to put it in a function, this is what we will be seeing. So with increasing radius, the area covered by the circular rings also increases linearly. The probability distribution function should act like this. Basically, the area and the density of points in a circular ring is inversely proportional. As a result, the PDF of the distance from the origin should be linearly increasing between 0 and R. And this will be basically our PDF function. And the corresponding cumulative distribution function will be the integration of that, which will be basically given as follows. This is the cumulative distribution function we have, and we are also given a uniform random number generator that generates a number between 0 and 1. Basically, we can get a number between 0 and 1 by using our function. And what we need to do is basically find the num point from this function and map it to the R to find our uh, actual uh, radius distribution. Uh, so, for example, this will be our R. So then Mathematically, what we need to do is to find the r using the rand n, we need to basically calculate this function. And if we follow this one, r squared will be capital R squared rand n, and r is going to be given r times the square root of the rand n function. And if we go back to the original algorithm, we were going to change our algorithm at this point where we calculate our uh, random uh, distance from the origin by calculating it using the capital R and the square root of the random number generator and if you were to put this to the to the Python code what will change is the only this part will change and we will calculate our R and theta similarly and then return the uh, X and Y coordinates utilizing this view so if we look at the result, as you can see now, the distribution of the points are more uniform compared to the previous distribution. So actually if we put them side by side, this is with the square root of randan, and this is using the randan only. And as you can see here, this is non-uniformly distributed around the origin, but this one is uniformly distributed along the, along the whole uh, circle. So so now we'll continue to show how to code this in in python next okay let's start with our boiler and main function the first function we will be writing is the non-uniform random point in the circle 
for that we will introduce two random numbers one of them is the radius which is tied to a random number and also the theta the angle between the x-axis next we will introduce the same function but this time r calculated by the square root of the random number generator now we will create a utility function called replicate n times which will take a function to the radius and the x center y center and number of trials it will take the function and uh, basically call our two previous functions the non-uniform and uniform random point in a circle this will run the function and trials time and it will create a distribution over the circle the returning value will be a tuple of x points y points radius xc and yc which will be late, used later on okay now let's create our distributions by calling our functions first we'll create the distribution one using the uniform random dis random generator and then the non-uniform one and for the first case we will be utilizing only one trial and the radius and the x center and y center will be given as one zero and zero and let's first uh, dump the values that we obtain using these distributions okay now let's plot these randomly distributed points on the graph so we'll write a plotting function called plot distribution and it will take two uh, arguments one of them will be uniform and the other one will be non-uniform and we'll get the distribution and the subtitle subtitles that will be utilized with them for the plot distribution function we first import the pyplot func pyplot library and also we create two subplots for the non-uniform and uniform distributions we also import the numpy as we'll be using it for creating the number of points for the circle and the plot distribution we will have uh, a sub sub function called the plot list which will be filled up later on So for the plot distribution function, for every keyed arguments, we are going to we are going to get the corresponding x points and y points, and then plot them with the plot list function. So what we are going to do is basically the the distributions already have the x and y points, so we'll be creating a scatter plot out of them. And once we have the scatter plot, we are going to also put an uh, uh, put a circle on top of it so we start with plotting using a single point as you can see this is not very clear let's add an argument to control the color of the points that we will be using in our distributions now let's add the circle so that the circle will be visible in our plots as well I also add the subtitle plot And the distribution for both cases will look like this and finally some micro refactorization can be done and we can change the colors and the markers and number of trials so that we have more distributions and also change the locations of the x center and y center
well that's it i hope this was helpful for you see you in the next videos bye